Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Next stop in the roadmap, we're going to be covering small doubles plus one, combinations of 10, 10 and some more, and 20 and some more. For this video, we're going to be going over several different things, and this is one of them. It's, it's, it's doubles plus one more. So we look at here and we have two candies and two candies that makes four candies. Once your student has mastered the doubles, you know, even the small doubles, let's add one more. You know, so we have three and three, and I'll go over and I'm going to show some numbers as well. But first, let's start off with two and two. So we have two and two, but we want to add one more. Okay, so we have two, and then we have two more, so that's your double. So they should know that that's four, and then we add one more. So what's that two and two? So two plus two plus one, five. So have your student go over the threes, doubles, plus one more. You know, on their own. Let 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 them work it out. Let them let them struggle a little bit. But remind them that again, it's going to be three and three, and then we're going to add one more. It's just one more. So we're taking a look at this as three plus three plus one more, or it could just be three plus four. There we go. And that is going to equal, what, 7? Let me erase this, and I'm going to throw down some numbers instead. So hold on a moment. Okay, let, let's lay down some numbers. Now, this is parents, guardians, brothers, sisters. Use like a highlighter, because we want to get our, our beginning mathematicians to start writing numbers as well, as well as the symbols that go along with it. So if we have, if initially we had 2, then 3. Let's go for 4. And I want to say, instead of putting down 4 again plus 1, let's do 4 and 5. You can throw in the symbols here. And the reason I said use, let's use a, a highlighter is because you put it down on the paper, you have them work this out, but you want them to go back and use a pen to write okay. over these numbers and symbols. You, know, you see, we want them to get that memory, that uh, touch, get them used to writing it out like this. Conversely, we can do it another way too, so that it's not just in that standard algorithm format like this, because many times you might have the answer, 9 plus is equal to, and then leave something blank, and that. So you see how you can make it work many different ways. We're, we're, we want them, your, your student, to have a deeper understanding of what they're looking at. It's not just writing numbers and memorizing answers. We want them to understand that these numbers can mean different things, such as candies or houses or dollar bills. You, in fact, use dollar bills. Use quarters. Use all kinds of different objects to help them have a deeper understanding of what they're doing with their doubles and then doubles plus one. What I want to do is I want, the, I want you to look at this. We have these different 10 frames. So there's 9 here, and there's 8 here, and 5 here, and then we have 4. purpose for this exercise is we want your student to make 10. So we're, we're trying to make that 10. We want everything to add up to 10. So we have 10 over here. And what does your student need to do to add up to 10? You can have other 10 frames, so you can cut the stuff out, make them yourself, or it could be numbers, however you want to do it. I would prefer to start out with other 10 frames to complete this. So let's do that. Let's do that real quick. So if I have 9 here, I can even put down a plus. I don't need to do that, but let's just put it down for this here. And then I'm going to add another frame that has just a 1. It's a 10 frame with just one dot filled in. Now we have that 10 frame with 9 dots and a 10 frame with one dot. You can draw that line in between here to show the relationship saying, hey, wait a minute, there's all of these are filled in and only and one is missing. And you can say one is filled in and all of these are missing. Make that connection between the two and have them write it out or create another 10 frame to show that they have that understanding. Have them pick out that other 10 frame. Let me show you. So we have nine plus one equals 10. So now they have 10. They have 
you want them to get that going. So again, here, when they start getting a little more advanced, they're better with their numbers. Let's go back to the highlighter and, and make it so that they're saying, okay, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so again, put down in highlighter, eight plus, and they can draw a circle if they want to. You see how we did that? And, and again, it, it, it's to where we want to make that connection. Get that connection here for those two pieces. And equals, and they can fill it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Simple. Let's do it a different way. So we have five dots here within this ten frame plus, and have them write it out. First, you know, just, let's just say tally marks. One, two, three, four, five, and then have them count it up and write down 10. You don't even need to use the equal sign. We want them to have that, that sense of numbers, the sense of completing that, making that 10. And then for this one here, one, two, three, four, what do they need to do? They can count. Well, what's missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, they can say six equals 10. See how these different ways that I'm putting it out here, having multiple 10 frames to where they can put it out there, um, so they're matching you know, what's missing to what they have in the other frame to drawing their own symbols, so the dots, and it, and it doesn't have to be dots either. So they're drawing those tally marks, and then finally they're using numbers to get that equation out there. So we did combinations of 10. But now we have these these 10 blocks. I mean, look at this, you know, here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't matter what color they are. You, know, you can use coins, you can use all kinds of different things to put them together. Legos will work. They can pull them apart and, and other such stuff. So if we're saying we want to have, again, you can write this out, 10 plus two. So we want them to do that. Say, say what is 10 plus two? And they need to go out and find those other blocks. Well, let's put those blocks down. So we say this, 10 plus 2, or you can write it out again in a highlighter, but they need to match it. So it might be best to grab these and say, okay, well, this one goes here, and this one goes here, and this one goes here. You want to line it up so that they have that association, that, that number sense where they associate 10 blocks with the number 10 and two blocks with the number 2. Let's go over here to this next one. You only have Ten, you know, these 10 blocks. Let's uh, mix it up a little bit. Well, so we want to tell them, hey, I want to have 10 plus 4. Now, we're going to extend this a little bit. It's not just 10 plus 4. So you have your 10, and then you can have your 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm pretending that those are blocks. Now we want them to tell us what that number is. They should already have their, their counting from 0 to 20 by now. This is where they're do, using that knowledge. So they can come over here, and either they can count it 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or teach them how to count on. So we know this is 10. I mean, it's just 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that equals 14. Again, the symbols aren't necessary at this point, but you can start introducing uh, symbols and such. Let's take a look at another one here. So we have, again, there's 10, and let's add in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's just have them write out the numbers for this instead. So 10, 6, and that equals and 16. Remember, we're looking for proper number looking at that, so it's a proper 6. You know, and think about it with, with young learners, if they go out and they do this, just say, hey, you know, that, that's reversed. Take a look at how it's supposed to be written. It should, we should have it like this. Reverse it around. Reversals are okay. You know, it, that's part of the learning process. Don't don't get them down. But if they understand that that 10 plus 6 is equal to 16 and they wrote the 6 backwards and they have the 1 here, that's okay. Get them to correct it. Just say, hey, just put a line through that and write a 6 the proper way. Over here, uh, let's do triangles. How many geometric shapes are here? So we have cubes and then we have triangles. Whoa, where do you go from there? Again, we want them to write out that this is 10 and this is 1, 2, 3, and that all you can, they can use an arrow, whatever they want, or they just write the number. And what we do want them to say, that number is 13. Now we're going to 20 and more. If your student hasn't mastered the 10 and some more yet, don't move on to 20 and some more. We want them to have that understanding that there's a 10 spot or a 10s. And even here with the, uh, with the 20s, there's 20. And we can show that this is 10s and this is 1s. This is where the 1s go. So if we're adding anything between 
0 and 9 it goes here and, and line it up for them so if we're going okay well we have 20 plus 3 line it up now again the, the standard algorithm might come later you don't necessarily have to put this right here you don't need to put that uh, symbol here that plus sign so we're lining up the ones let me see and we have them do this 20 and 3 they have need to have an understanding that there are 20 10 20 and then there's three more so if we draw those one two three we get 23 over here there's one two three four now uh, let's do five so five other pieces to this 20 have them counted up in fact you can break it up e even smaller so that's a little more understanding so let's take a look at that we have two of these and that's those are those are 10 blocks each let's uh look at that so we can say hey look at this there's 10 and 10 and one, two, three, four, five. Notice how we line up the ones column here, okay? And then we have our tens column. So we can even say, you know, put this five up here and say, hey, there's, we're adding up these tens and there's 25. So you can count them, or you can say 10 and 10 is 20, plus five is 25. We want them to have a deeper understanding of what's going on here. It's that, it's that uh, number sense, that math fluency that we're seeking not necessarily um, how to write out the standard algorithm. Here's another way to look at it. We have 10 frames again, 10, 20, 1, 2. So you can write it out, 10, 10, and that equals 20. And then we add 1, 2, again that goes in the ones column, and that's 22. You can have them do this, you can have them string it out, you can have them count on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. However they do it, just keep moving forward. This could be some great practice for several different ways to do it. Once we get up to, you know, the nines there, you know, if they're starting to get some mastery to this, let's go ahead and have them, you know, take a look at this. So that way they can say, hey, look at this. There's one, two, three tens. What does that mean? Huh. They can write it out. 10, 10, 10, and then add this up to where it's 30, or Again, it's counting on 10, 11, 12, through 20, 21 through 30. Keep your child engaged. Don't make it too difficult. You can challenge them a little bit. You can say, hey, you've been doing great. Let me add another 10 block. That's what I did here. You know, it, it's, it's just something that's really simple. Again, it doesn't, you don't need to count this out. You don't need to create this. It could be pennies. Use pennies. Use dog bones. Use crackers. Use Cheerios. Use something to where they're using their hands and fingers to do that work. We want them to get used to using different strategies to figure out different answers for their math. Remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Up next, we're going to be talking about large doubles, such as 6s, 7s, 8s, and 9s, and combinations through 10s.